great. Thank you, guys. We're here with a team from Russia, and as you, I told you earlier about the teams from Puerto Rico, they're just an hour ahead of us, but just imagine being in Russian time. That's probably about eight or nine hours difference than what we've had before. The team was making a few changes to their rover just as they are approaching the starting line. They actually put a little bit more telemetry on their particular rover. They did race yesterday. They did very well, and they're very excited about um, moving forward through the challenge today. So good luck to this team from Russia. As we've said throughout the challenge, this is an international race, and we're so proud of all of our partnerships with all of our international countries that have come to America to participate in NASA's Human Exploration Rover Challenge. Back to you guys. Thanks very much, Christina. Yeah, that's team number nine, one of our international teams, uh, the International Space Education Institute, Moscow Aviation University, one of those co-teams, Team Russia from Moscow, Russia. Once again, Trine University is uh, making their way across the Martian landscape in the bright sunshine there. The sun has finally broken through, a little bit of overcast sky. So while we had a minute, we wanted to bring in one of the folks who has made all of this happen this weekend. She's a very busy person, so the fact that she was able to make time to come visit us today, we're, we're very glad for. This is Amy McDowell with our uh, with our academic affairs group here at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Amy, uh, once again, so far you've pulled off a pretty successful race. What do you think so far? I think so, Bill. Uh, we really appreciate your... Um, you know, thank yous about that. I think that we really couldn't do it without all of the volunteers that we have. We have over 300 volunteers that come out for this. Most of them are from Marshall Space Flight Center, but we have a lot from our sponsors like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, um, among others that take time to come out here and especially on a Saturday where they could be with their families and they're out here um, playing around in the mud with us. And so we really appreciate that. And uh, I think that we've heard that our new addition of the Martian terrain and obstacles five through eight have definitely made it interesting. And so I'm about to go and check that out over there and see how we're doing today when it's not quite as wet. But um, I hear that that, that has um, really created some more innovations that need to be made. So we're excited to hear that the teams can continue to grow. I was about to say interesting is, is very well, well <laughs> delicately put because I know a lot of the students have used probably a little bit more harsher language as, they, as they've been running around the course. That's been the one that's gotten jumped up and been there. We're not seeing any record times this year, but I think that's part of the challenge. I think it's part of the important part of, of adding it to this race. Yes, because we're under the human Human Exploration Operations Missions Directorate Research and Technology um, is what helps fund the race. And so we really need to um, innovate what we're doing and not continue to do the same thing over and over again. So we think it's awesome. They think it's hard. But uh, we're, we're excited about some of the changes that we've been making. Absolutely. Uh, changes are the name of the game. We always want to try to improve and challenge these students. Uh, year after year as we watched the Moscow Aviation University that was able to go over that first obstacle pretty well uh, with a quick pace, but then it looked like they might have hit it hard and something might have gone wrong with their ro rover there as they stopped and we continue to watch uh, Trine University. One thing about this course is that it's long enough we can have two teams on at the same time. As long as one university or one high school is on the back end of the course, we can push another one at the start line, which is what we've seen right here as we watch the two drivers for this rover are standing around and looks like we might actually see one of the most physical <laughs> displays of energy if he's oh no they're going they're running they're going and pulling it off okay yeah i, I think it looks like the beginning and push all the way through this course that'd be tough. we've seen it happen we've actually seen uh, well first of all it looks like i, I may have a year oh the tire just is off yeah they hit that first we, obstacle <laughs> uh, i thought an axle was broken i couldn't see it from the